God, what is wrong with this video? <laughs> I, I will... The first thing for a beginner to know about deconstruction is how important Maybe. safety is. Give me a few minutes. Business call. Look at that amazing Technicolor dream hoodie. <laughs> he is the Donny <laughs> Osmond like of this black people. Time. Look at it. All There's tiny some puppy love tiny budding between man. him and Nico. Crazy. Sorry, I have an ant well, infestation. Okay. I just love putting sugar out all yeah, over the place. Okay. Can't help it. But uh, what about you? That's because he's so sweet. What motivates <laughs> you? Hmm. Well, I need money. This pays. You need money. You are it. money. <laughs> I don't care if I live or die. <laughs> Why don't you buy yourself with yourself? <laughs> looking for someone. Someone you know, really, he should take some yeah. of that money. And he should reinvest it in Roman's so, cab business. They're driving around in the same beat-up cars that they were years ago. Before Nico came to America. And now things haven't gotten any better. Offices have been firebombed. Playboy X has an ant infestation. But I'm warning you. They're driving around in the same cab they were in Serbia, which was made out of a dumpster. <laughs> They, uh, That's all they swam it across. The rain or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> they just floated across in the dumpster. <laughs> Look at them yellow shoes. What's up, son? Those are beige shoes. Dwayne! Way in the sad set. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes me, I'll be in prison. Oh, I was on the bus today, and I was playing with my uh, iPod Touch. And the guy behind me started asking about it, and it turned out that he had just got done with a 10-year prison bid, and he was, like, totally amazed at how technology had progressed while he was inside. He had an interesting conversation. Shit, when he went into prison, iPods were, like, the size of a, uh, a computer tower. Oh. And they had to be powered by two car batteries that would be held up by some uh, good citizen that would walk around behind you. Silk sheet. Fancy Aren't they allowed to, like, read the news? No. Oh, hey, I ain't huh. saying that. The news might upset them. You know, they are criminally insane after all. Hey, there's, there's, well, well, they can probably, like, watch TV news in the rec room or whatever, but there's probably not a whole lot of stuff about iPods. And are you kidding? Everybody loves the iPods. Oh my god, Dwayne's on fire! <laughs> you smoking, Holmes. And when that guy went to prison, <laughs> the latest GTA game was GTA 2. They've come out with a whole two more since then. <laughs> Perhaps uh, Dwayne was wearing his unusual beard with a smoky effect. Okay, Dwayne, we got His beard is painted on with grease paint like Groucho Marx's mustache. Hell, this is your home. I stole it from you. I should know. This jet money. Hey Dwayne! <laughs> Fucker must think I'm an idiot. Hey Dwayne! To walk this way, homie. If I could walk that way. We go in the castle gardens. Is it out? Just off <laughs> it was a Groucho Marx joke and also a GTA joke, but never mind. Alright. Alright. Alright, well, uh, this Hummer could make a pretty sweet cab. I've heard a lot of names since I got could. That would be that the worst thing imaginable. Why? Hummer cabs, like there'd be thousands of them in New York, boxing up everything even more. Driving for each other. <laughs> I'm sure there are, like, novelty cabs around that are hummers. Well, yeah, I mean, it's the cash cab, but I'm pretty sure that's a minivan now. That's a novelty cab. There are real minivan cabs all over the place. You can see them here. Yeah. What if an old man got in the cash cab and they put off like all the sirens and he had a heart attack and died? Then they would probably have a legal nightmare on their hands. Well, if they did that, they probably would have to tell the old man, Welcome to the Republican Party! Hmm. I don't understand that joke. Loud noises and a lot of monster and then he died. Shit! We have the chance of winning a lot of money. <laughs> Much like <laughs> this tax bracket. <laughs> nice. When we fuck they people up, they'll realize. What kind of entrance to parking? One that you're not supposed to pick. <laughs> look, look, the route on the map there on the radar, that is only a suggestion, okay? Oh my god, ramp it. Oh, you're passing the ramp. Oh. 
those are hard to hit and like line up correctly, especially in a car. Yeah, I was thinking probably just get, get both sides cheered off. <laughs> it don't matter. We brought the red bed. Spiritually, I mean. What red bed? Just grab something, please. Calm it down, Jonesy. Yo, don't drive like a bitch. Wait, am I a punk, a bitch, or money? <laughs> you a punk money bitch. Wow. I guess. I feel that Spanish flea is too Stop it. <laughs> I'm still humming it though. Whoop. You know, that's one of the things I liked about the earlier GTAs where crashing a car at the high speeds imaginable didn't result in instant death for you. Or damage to your passengers. That's not very realistic. Well, I don't care. I don't play this game for the realism. I play it because it's a cop-killing murder simulator. Yay. Also, it's fun. Yeah, that's a... I'm a man! No, you're an asshole! Hey! Pipe down up there! Oh, what? That car, money. I love how after all that, the Hummer is still pretty much in perfect condition. Well, you gotta see it from the front. Yeah. It's much better built than a real Hummer. <laughs> Oh, okay, it's in a bit bad shape. It's got all sorts of ghosting and particle Yo, effects and shit. three lookout cats making sure no one makes move on the site. You best take them out with the rifle it's before a you catnip get rifle. The them. I'm gonna get or in a position cats. where I can see all the shit going down. If you can take out the main cats, then the rest of them shouldn't be a problem. Look how they're all just in inspecting there, their, the their AKs. Why the were they gonna AK? Well, I guess it probably wouldn't money. be too hard from like way up there. Take it's not, the I would think, not shit. the most ideal weapon for that position. So, uh, let's get a little close-up here on Dwayne. Well, not Dwayne. Playboy. See what he's got to say. I'm sorry, they all look the same to me. The actual, um, accurate range of an AK-47 is probably longer than it is in most games. Oh, hey. Yeah, I fired one. It was pretty accurate. Let's, uh, let's take care of this guy right here. <laughs> Did you kill somebody? Yeah. No. It was real accurate. You think I could do this without accident? No, I shot it like... in a, in a firing range. That was inside a grocery store. <laughs> you know, you can zoom with this rifle, right? I don't remember what key I had bound to zoom. It's probably the scroll wheel. Nope, it is not. That will the change my weapons. Wheel. Not when you're... Like, not when you have the scope on, it zooms when you have it the scope on. It doesn't do anything when the scope's on. Well, this don't fuck awkward. up your key bindings next well, time. Jesus, I... can't do anything right. Uh, I'm sorry, I was unaware that it... Well, you the, can't do anything to completion. The GTA so. 4 LP Yes, I can. I completed, like, three LPs. You completed, uh, living on your own? Yes. <laughs> for 18 months. And now you're done. Before See, I ran out of money. Oh, I want that pair of binoculars. Okay, around this point I realized I don't remember what that binding is, like I just said. And I don't... Uh, you can get them. Just... Oh, there we go. Hey. It was plus or minus or something. Hey, buddy. Whoop. Oh. Whoop. What? <laughs> what are you oh. doing? Oh, oh, he fell. He clicked and it skipped the animation of the guy falling. Uh, but I didn't forget it this time, wherever this guy is. Somewhere. Where are we? There he is. Oh. You're on top of a building across the street from the construction site. Okay, so he's fallen now, right? Whoa, bam. Watch out, it's Mr. Mayhem. He hit the car. That all them lookouts gone, buddy. Shaky, shaky. Get in there and free up the site. Shaky, breaky. Oh, now stop. I see what you're doing. You that commercial. Yes. That is I'm the body made. of a hitman falling to his death. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh... Nobody else. Nobody else has spawned. Uh, you can't shoot them down there. Well, well, you're up here. Save yourself some time. Well, Dwayne wanted. Not Dwayne. God damn it, I really got those <laughs> two right. Well, black guy number one over there. You're gonna have to figure it out real soon when you have to kill one of them. <laughs> no, no, that'll make it easy, because then, you know, the other one. I'll just kill them both, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> um. Black guy number one over there wanted to go sightseeing. That's why he brought his binoculars. And also, he had a desire to wash some windows on his way up. 
He picked a poor uh, place to do that since there are no windows on the side of the building. <laughs> there are plenty of windows well, you know, just up there. Well, he's more of an idea man. <laughs> he's a blue sky thinker. Hmm, that's nice. Uh, that might be a guy. <laughs> that guy Does he looks... have a red arrow over his head? <laughs> <laughs> Taxi, take me across the street so I can shoot everyone. Well, I was trying not to call any attention to it, but right, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. And imagine living in the GTA universe and you're just like going about it's your my business. favorite song. Is it the crack house song? No. no. Anyway, uh, imagine living in the GTA universe and you're just like going about your business every day and just living a normal, happy life. And then, and then one day a big red arrow appears above your head. How many times like, has this oh. been discussed in GTA? A normal, happy no. life, but no childhood of which to speak. <laughs> I don't remember it ever being discussed, but okay. Alright, so usually you're supposed to sneak through this uh, place and take these guys out, but I opted for tactic. That guy's not even on your target list. Well, you know what? It's just a construction worker. Nico killing innocents? That's just <laughs> unbelievable. This game is extremely anti Oh, okay, never mind. It really is. This so old. I don't know where I got this weapon, but whatever. I think it was given to you when you got into the SUV. I'm generous. It must be an SUV of holding. Stupid immigrants! You're trying to take American jobs! <laughs> trying to take American jobs of killing construction workers. God, they didn't even take care of this daisy problem. You should get a better pistol. I, I don't need a better pistol. This is my killing pistol. I call it Tupac. <laughs> You could get a killing her pistol if you went to the gun store and placed it with the Desert Eagle. Uh, hey, is that a pigeon? No, that's a flower. This is a union matter. You gotta be fucked by a union official. Oh, I need a jacket. I'm so cold. <laughs> I also need a bulletproof vest. <laughs> Badly. Perhaps some sort of bulletproof helmet. It's interesting how they do Wraps the... Wraps a bulletproof wife. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to die, friend! The, um... Armor and health gauges. What about it? Like, that the that it, the, the blue moves around as you lose health, I suppose? Um, They're not on yes. separate sides? Nope, it's just they both combine to make one yeah. semi Oh, there we go. So there aren't, like, if falling damage doesn't, um only hurt your regular health that goes with the armor too. <laughs> what? Okay, say no, if you no, fall, you does it take off your health or does it go off the armor? You don't lose no, it armor. takes off your health and then just like the armor just moves around to close yeah. the gap. Okay. I got it. It's been like that since uh, San Andreas, like the separation between damage types. Mm. In, in Vice City in 3, um, it just like took off your armor first and then your health, no matter what kind of damage it was. So you I could thought they're falling. get like hit. In Vice City, it took off uh, health as well. Nope, it would it would go through your armor first. I was which also didn't the really make any sense. I was also under the impression that gangsters don't swim. Well, that Bro. Uh, it's oh. better than what always happens to me, which I just sort of like bounce it off the thing in front of me and then it lands at my feet. And then I usually don't notice until it blows up. And oh no. Oh whatever, close Big enough. Shot. Oh no, not again. <laughs> You're really bad at this. God damn it. There we go. Shoot. There you go. He's already dead though. <laughs> I think no, I think he caught him by him. hitting him in the head with a grenade. <laughs> that actually Ow. Oh no he, Oh no he he's trying to crawl up. away. There was a, uh, that guy is resilient. It reminds me, there was uh, a lady in Florida that apparently was using a set of live World War II hand grenades as bookends. <laughs> and That's kinda cool. She, she gave one of them to her neighbors, but decided it would be a really funny joke if she pulled the pin first. And he thought that there might have been something wrong with that. 
so uh, they decided to put the pin back in and then call the police. Well, did she... No, no, nobody uh, blew up, but they had to take... Uh, the uh, bomb squad had to uh, take it out to a field and detonate it. And uh, uh, left a two-foot deep crater, apparently. Well... There's a character in the film, uh, In the Loop, who uses a live hand grenade. It's a paperweight. That's a very good movie. You should watch it. Uh, you mean the guy who plays the U.S. Senator? Um, Does he senator have a monologue about what it means and the why it's there? No, he's just no. an asshole. Yeah, he, he was a really big asshole. I think he was portraying a senator in New Jersey, but it is a, uh, it is a good movie. Although a tad on the British side. <laughs> well, yeah, it's... It, it's uh, Satire of the events leading up to the invasion. <laughs> it's a satire of the events leading up to the invasion of Iraq from a from a British perspective. It's very funny and quite smart. I saw it on Netflix. I didn't. I pirated it. Pirating some more stories on Cuck Tumblr. Well, good. Uh, looks like these helmets didn't save these assholes at all. Yo, Mm, this mission I actually find quite tedious. Yeah. Well, there's only a couple of guys left the to mall. The reason I find it tedious is that I have a terrible sense of direction and always end up like climbing up the wrong half-finished building and then I have to go down and back around and blah, blah, blah. Man, it's a good thing all these guys went to like the stormtrooper school of shooting. <laughs> I mean, I did too, obviously, but... <laughs> <laughs> the longest gunfight ever. <laughs> what?! I'm gonna have the to take out my Nico knife after I run out of bullets and stab somebody. It's like a Bowie knife, but named after me. They should put throwing knives in a GTA game. Well, they were in uh, Red Dead Redemption. Which, so. Okay, well, they so should put them in a GTA game, as I That's said. That's just like GTA, but in the West, okay? Oh, in the Wild Wild and West? With no auto. James West, Desperado. Would the ladies be taking their dresses off? <laughs> in the West. God, I can't believe I forgot that line already. Be out of that dress, and they meet Jim West. That's right. Any damsel that's in distress, that goes first. Are you talking about that? Old TV show. No, no we're talking, we about, talking about Smith Will Smith's movie. and his uh, adaption of oh. that old TV show. I got rid of all the union problems on this site. As you can see, this place is going to need a cleanup. Because they're all dead. Except that. Hold on, I see someone trying to leave. I need to shoot him. He's going to walk. I don't think he's leaving. He's kind of leisurely walking around that big pile of dirt. He's probably just a drug dealer who's wearing a. Uh, Proper safety equipment. <laughs> That'd be a pretty good disguise. Like nobody would suspect you if you were just walking around a construction site wearing construction equipment. They should make it so that you slide down that gravel hill. Yo! Is it shifts? I was trying to hail down that guy. <laughs> Who's the Leo Breaker X X? That sounds pretty <laughs> sexy, actually. Oh no, wait, no, that's not Dragle. Oh, hey. Crackles, Ellen Klops. Nice to break her is another goon. Liberty City, you hear me? <laughs> Wait, we actually stole me back. Oh, oh, money, I appreciate you going for me. I mean, you know, make cats out there. You remember my man, Wayne? Sure, just got out of the pen. Old friends like on paying him in the mind. Yeah, that's what he thinks. He got friends all over the shop, but he living in the past. I need you to go over to the Governor Greg Johnson He still thinks we got a shot. Over in Northwood. He oh no! Up there and needs help. <laughs> <laughs> it just all explodes. Why? I just wanted a hot dog. <laughs> the radiation from your cell phone vibrated the atoms in the condiments at exactly the right frequency to make me. Wow. <laughs> I like going up to one of the hot dog stands and just like pushing somebody out of the way and then we were able to like stand there behind me and yell at me and just walk away. <laughs> Ooh, yes, yeah, it's a nice... Yeah, fuck it's some dire, dire jock sound and music. 
Let bless it. Yeah, yeah. this is better. Where we play the hot car, y'all fight the flimsy, y'all play the low. Wow, this rapper is really bad. Hey, I'm straight as hell. Even I could appreciate this. No sport, I'm coming. Not O'Brien. Jack made for the scam. It's not. He said he was riding through Bohan. Oh. No, he said he was riding through Bohan. It was, uh, it was an anime's <laughs> reference of some sort. Scope out this target, beam him, pop him, gotta keep it thorough. So I understand that this oh, track is actually in the place of the concert. Uh, but I'm sure of GTA games. Um, actually, uh... See, what's that guy think of? And an exploded black guy. <laughs> Greg Connor does all of the original music for GTA games. Young Melee? No, Greg Connor. Oh. <laughs> uh, the, the dude CJ. That, uh, Greg Connor, that dude that, uh, Sarah Connor's kid? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's cool, I guess. Why are you just sitting here, dude? She loved dick love. <laughs> Nice stripes. Hello, is that Do you really need to wear a park in what appears to be the middle of the summertime? You can take pictures of yourself aroused and send it to friends. Why do you have to get on the phone and call the cops? Could they just like yell around the corner? Hey! Maybe he was telling his friend what happened. Well, like if your car got jacked, you probably tweet it first. No, no, because he would have crashed no, it into a wall for just at 90 miles an hour. I'm talking to today's youth. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for calling me old. <laughs> <laughs> today's youth, so missile waste. Today I was, um... Today's youth, my youth. I got a job tutoring middle schoolers, which I absolutely hate. And, uh, today, I was asking them about current events, and one of them said, The Beckhams are expecting a baby! And I said, do you even know who the Beckhams are? Do you know what they're famous for? And they didn't. And I, I thought about telling them that Weren't they Victoria those... Beckham was famous wait, 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 wait. Weren't they those guys for being in a girl band they... when I was in... When I was their age, ten years ago. Wait, 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 I actually watched that movie, Bend It Like Beckham. That was the first movie I ever saw Kira Knightley in. And wasn't she fabulous? Yes. She is in a movie called The Hole, and you can see her breasts. Yes, she was 15 in that movie. It was Let's edit song, that part out. <laughs> where, I, where I reveal that I know that. It's all good. Wow. Well, mostly good. Mostly? Yeah. I thought she was just playing 15. Nope. Pushing me, man. I enjoyed that movie. But whatever. Especially that part. No. Give him time. He's just out the prison. Or so you said. Listen, G. Does he have a gumball machine over there? No. I thought I saw like a gumball machine. He is a successful businessman, a successful entrepreneur. He is allowed to have these trappings of success, all right? Such as a gumball machine, pink felted pool table. He deserves to be able to treat himself to a gumball once in a while. He's got a quarter on his sex thing, by the way. It's a good way to save money. You get a gumball, you put a quarter in, and then after a while, you got you got yourself a nice little uh. You need this guy's silence. Nest egg. Whoa. And then you forget you the, with the key to the gun ball machine. <laughs> okay. What does he look like? Well, son ain't too. Also, this uh this pool table is he unleaded. With him. <laughs> now he don't flash his guap too much. Fuck his guap. See it in his eye. He a hustler. Guap a Just get up real close and look in his eyes. Oh me. See if he's a hustler. He's just making up all these words. I mean, he ain't too bummy. <laughs> like how Nico's got so no idea what one? he's saying. Look, he's oh, so he's you. Brown skin ain't average. <laughs> Motherfucker be rocking baggy clothes, all that. Jewels. Jewels. Stay fresh, Jewels. Clean sneakers. Know what I mean? And sometimes a bandana. He like a Jewess, but I it's a dude. I need more than that to go on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs>
that Take this. seems like this <laughs> are exactly me. why photo, I hate this character me, so much. Which one of them I kind of like him. I mean, I and definitely think that he's the guy you should kill, but I kind of like him. Oh, I like how the game makes you feel like a real asshole if you kill Dwayne. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, I just have this one, like, homeless guy in my bathroom with a baseball bat. <laughs> At least he's got a friend. That's not Nico. He should, uh, team up with Roman and Bruce. In fact, I feel that's a wasted opportunity since they didn't explore that. <laughs> Where are you trying to go, ambulance? That no is fair. one power fire hyphen. I think the Hummer helps a little, too. Wait, is that why he crashed? One EMT was giving a Hummer to the other one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy's I mean, that's probably not very professional. Oh. Just saying. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, the hydrant stopped spraying. I was gonna t I tell you to try to push him onto it, but then I would have remembered this is a pre recorded video. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> Somebody wrote ambulance backwards on the hood of this thing. Probably Nico. With all those backwards letters in the Cyrillic alphabet. Cyrillic? Oh, I thought it was acrylic. <laughs> Seriously, she thought it was acrylic? Yep. <laughs> For my entire life until this point. I hope you never pronounce it out loud that way. Well, thank God that you're teaching a bunch of four year olds. They got no who can work the lanes, man. 13 year olds. That's something I was forced into. Uh, you are a stronger person than I. I would probably slap those kids silly within like 10 minutes. God, oh, I, I think this I one dude was Michael Steele from that video a couple years ago. Oh, I love that video. That's like one of my all time favorite YouTubes. Oh, I should post that again. You should. The uh, Michael Steele parody? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Let's see that again. It's nothing quite like the sight. Don't mind oh. me, just taking pictures of American sights. Oh! Oh no. Thank god Whoa, I have plenty of oh. oh, you almost stayed up. <laughs> it was like his legs were made of rubber. It was like, you? <laughs> well, you see, I had like uh, some uh, uh, cartoon. I had some non-regulation uh, stick on my hands, so that's how I was able to sort of stay up long enough. You should probably get, like, a hot dog or some body armor. Um, a hot or just dog some body armor like, like made of hot dogs so they will absorb the bullets. That's the wrong guy! He's back, man! Damn! No! Thanks a fucking lot. That Damn. ain't Marlin. I thought I was said Marlin. <laughs> huh. Hello, friends! <laughs> I am just taking pictures of American gangster, like Denzel Washington DC movie. Want to play hoop? Give you the one in the yellow, I think. It's Want to play so hoop, difficult. like president. So nobody thinks he's a narc or anything? I mean, look at that Perseus suit. Look at that gun. Look at that fancy gun. I love George oh, Washington no, they're Bush. they're looking at you. Marlin's the one dressed like a damn canary. Oh no, I'm red, yellow, yellow colorblind. <laughs> Actually, it's blue yellow. Good thing you'll just have to kill all of them. <laughs> kill that guy. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. Oh, hey, that one guy's busting. He's busting up. He's right busting on you. Eight. I don't know what happened to that one, dude. He just ran off. He a buster. Hey, he saw that he was clearly outgunned. <laughs> <laughs> No physical stresses for me, that man said as he ran past. <laughs> I think the more important thing here is how Nico was able to lose his way into the car, and the door only being open a crack. He's obviously Plastic Man from the Justice League of America. <laughs>